Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do an iPad 3 slash 4 screen replacement. Here are the tools that you'll need for the repair. You'll need a heat gun, a metal spudger, a plastic spudger, some tweezers, a Phillips screwdriver, a razor blade, and a guitar pick. So we're going to start by heating up all around the edges. You'll want to be careful not to heat up the center because it is very easy to overheat the LCD and damage it. So once you've got it heated up, you're going to want to go in with a razor blade. It's going to look a lot easier here because of how broken this one was and I had already started it. But you'll notice uh, lower down it will be a lot more difficult and you will have to kind of work your way in there and constantly reheat it in order to get everything off. I also suggest wearing some sort of safety goggles because it's not fun to get glass in your eye. So when you are starting the screen replacement on this iPad, I prefer starting it on the left side of the screen as there's no cables or ribbons that you can damage. There is the digitizer cable for the screen itself, but that's not really a big deal if you damage it considering you're going to be replacing it. And here at the top where I just reheated it, you're going to want to be careful up there because some of the models do actually have a little Wi-Fi and cellular antenna cable up there. So this one doesn't have any of those on top of here, but it's just good to know. So just basically pick off the glass piece by piece. You're going to want to be a little careful up in the center area on the top here as the front facing camera is right there and you don't want to slip and damage it. So we're making our way to the top right corner which in that area there is your volume button and mute switch ribbon so you'll want to be pretty careful and as you can see there's already a huge chunk of the glass missing which I did scrape off earlier that part you'll usually just want to heat up a bunch in order to get that off and then heat up the bottom and it should all just kind of peel up now you may want to heat it up quite a bit just to get it open, just depending on if it's ever been repaired before. If it has, it's a lot easier. If it hasn't, it's um, a pretty strong adhesive. Now that we got it open, we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver. There's four screws holding down the LCD on each corner. So when you're lifting up the LCD, you're going to want to do it on the right side where your volume button and mute switch is as the LCD ribbon is on the opposite side and you don't want to damage it when you're lifting it up. So once you've got it open, you'll take your tweezers. There'll be little bits of plastic adhesive just covering the connections. So go in with your plastic spudger and unclip the three connections for your LCD and digitizers and just gently pull them out. Once you got that off, you're going to want to take a razor blade or the metal spudger, whatever you prefer, to take off your home button. And now we're just going to go around the frame of the iPad and just kind of take off all of the extra glass and adhesive that's stuck on there so that the new glass can sit on it and adhere properly. So I go in with the metal spudger and I kind of just like to twist off as much of the glass as I possibly can and then scrape off any of the excess adhesive. also like to hit out any glass chunks and dust and always keep your area clean because it's easy to scratch things up and damage things more or just get broken glass in your hand. So here I'm just scraping off some of the adhesive. I actually started to notice that the frame is extremely dented so I'm also going to walk you through how to deal with a dented frame in this video as well. So this has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now in the video, but I did notice that on the iPad 4, which is the one that I'm doing right now, the volume button and mute switch actually have a little cover over it so you don't really have to be that careful when you are taking off the screen but I do know that the iPad 2 and I believe the iPad 3 they have those exposed they don't have a little plate over it so 
it's something to worry about if you're doing one of the older models. So that's actually right in this little area right here where that little black plate is on the frame. So now that we have cleaned up the frame, I'm going to show you how to deal with a dented corner here, which actually a little metal piece popped out of. So I'm using a Dremel. You don't need a Dremel. If you don't have one, you could use a file, which I still use a file later on, probably right about now. Files are a little more precise, but I do like the Dremel because it does uh, get it grinded down a little faster. I also like to use the metal spudger to kind of get any sort of the jagged parts off and then kind of file it down to make it smoother and just kind of keep trying to fit that in until it actually sits flat. Basically just keep grinding and filing until it fits. So if you don't do this, the actual glass will be lifting up and it won't sit flush. So now I'm just going in and I'm removing the glue that was in there, holding down that little metal part that popped out. So just scrape all of the glue out so that you can put new glue in. I know this is a few extra tools than what I said you needed, but honestly, you can make your metal spudger work. Alright, so when it looks like it fits, you just gotta trim off those little plastic frames, and you can put a little bit of super glue, gorilla glue, whatever you prefer, and just push it in there. Just trim off another piece of that excess plastic. And we're going into another corner, which isn't nearly as bad as that other one. Just dremel it out. Take your file, kind of make it flat if it's too dented in, which I get too often where they're extremely dented and you can't really do anything other than make it completely flat so there's no longer a metal lip. So I'm going to go back in with the metal file around the corners just to make them perfectly flat and smooth in the areas that I dremeled it. Again, you can cut off some of that plastic frame if it's in the way or if it's just not adhering or if it's just too warped from heating it up. I usually just replace those with some double-sided adhesive later just to keep it sealed. So now we're going to take your new screen. Just make sure that you switched over the home button because I know some of the aftermarket screens don't have the home button installed. So you just take it from the old one. So you're going to take the digitizer ribbon and slide it into the two little digitizer connections on the motherboard. And now we're going to grab the home button ribbon and we're going to reconnect it to the actual home button on the glass. Just make sure it clicks. So now we're going to install the LCD. Just grab the LCD ribbon on the back of it and slide it into its connection on the motherboard. And then you can click the little plastic clip into place and put the adhesive back over top of the LCD and digitizer ribbon connections. We can put the LCD down now and line up the little screw holes and start putting the screws back in after you give it a little wipe down. Now most aftermarket screens will come with adhesive on the screens already. Uh, if you don't have any you can just use some double-sided tape or you can order some double-sided adhesive specifically for screen replacements. Um, that tends to hold better than double-sided tape does. So we're gonna wipe down the LCD and put down the glass. Make sure everything lines up and if it does it should just adhere down. So in the corners where the dents in the frame were, I would usually just fill those up with some double-sided adhesive and just kind of stuff it in there just to keep the dust out. And yeah, that's basically it. So there you go, it's done. That's me. Hello. Alright, thanks for watching guys. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. I will try to respond. 
Um, and yeah, let me know if there is anything else in the future that you want me to do. Like and subscribe, and bye.